Bob Maloney for my MMA news. I'm up at Will Martinez at Martinez BJJ in Northeast Philly. Will, how are you, my What's man? What's up, brother? Good seeing you again. Man, always a pleasure. So much to talk about with you, not just yeah. fighting when we talk about it. Where I want to start with is mixed martial arts in general, because I know that you always love to talk about that. And Listen, I want to talk about what a great investment it is. In for, for, for If you want to make a great investment in your kid, bring them to mixed martial arts, because... It's not just about protecting yourself, but it's also like anti-bullying, if it you is, ask me, is. because when you're there, tell me about, you know, how the kids, because your kids' class is kicking ass right now, growing. I'd love to see it. Yeah, we, we have one of the best kids' program in the city by far, and not just because they compete, just because of how hard they work uh, and how hard they train. Jiu-Jitsu is physically tough. It's not like baseball, basketball, where it's just running. Jiu-Jitsu, every day they're in here training and grinding and learning about themselves and, uh, and learning like real life lessons. Uh, I think in one of the in, uh, at the in-house tournament, I was able to teach my son a, a life lesson I learned in the street, but I was able to do it on the mats. And I reflected that night on that, like, oh my God, this is such an amazing sport where uh, I'll give you the example. He was competing against a kid that was a lot bigger than he was in the in-house tournament. And uh, he showed fear. He showed like, oh my God, he's big, he's, he's stronger. And uh, I sat him down, I had a conversation to with him, a little man-to-man -man conversation. I said, look, man, I just want you to go out there and fight your heart out. No matter how big they are, the, 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 harder, or the bigger they are, the harder they fall. He went out there and he, he competed to, to, he ended up losing the no-gi match, but he fought so hard. He got a body lock, slammed the kid. And, and showed that fire. And that's the same life lesson I learned on the street was like, don't let anyone bully you. You fight no matter what, big or smaller. And, and that was the mindset that I had. And I was able to give him that on the mats and not in a physical environment where, you know, you're out in the street, get, like an actual fight. Uh, and there's so many life lessons like that on the mat and competition and training. Again, we, we, we don't require them to compete or fight or anything like that, but uh, eventually they push hard. They want to do that route. And that starts to build a ton of character and strength. Well, listen, your daughter, who I love to watch, follow on, on, on Facebook because she's competing too. Are you tougher on her than you think on, on the other ch children a little bit because she's your daughter and your, your, yeah. your son too? I mean, uh, you have, you have, I, you have I your am. children right in here all the time. Like, physically, I am. The, they, they've they been training since they were three. She's 11 and he's nine, about to be 10. And uh, the first couple of years, I gave them no slack. They have to do the extra laps, the extra running, the extra this, the extra that. And now they know. They, they're both help me here as instructors, and they know what I expect in training. Uh, and, and they talk to me. They say, hey, Daddy, today I'm tired. I say, all right, do your two rounds get, and, and just hang out. And days where I see they're really excited, I ask for two extra rounds, and they, they never say no. They, they know what to expect when they're on the mat. And as you can see, the results, she loves to compete. She told me uh, we were watching Danielle Kelly uh, on uh, EBI, and she's like, man, Daddy, uh, you think I can get to that level one day? I said, why not? Sure. I mean, I, I just want to be along for the ride when, when you do get there. Uh, and my son, too, my, my son's going to hit his spurt when he's like 12 or 13. He's going to be a monster. And I, I can't wait to see that. Well, it's got to be exciting for you because you're talking about competing, coming up, fight to win right here in Philly. Yeah. You're competing on the card, but so is your daughter. So that's got to be really, like, as a, as a parent, man, that's just got to be, like, it an is. awesome feeling, it man. Is. Tell me about, like, all your anybody you have competing from your team at that fight to win. Uh, between uh, our team, tag team, and Dave and me, we, there's going to be about 15, 16 competitors on that card from our team. Uh, Dave. Dave has his son on there, Christian. Uh, Tim Rocco's on there. Uh, Tim Rocco's on there. Jason's on there. These guys have all competed for them again. I'm on there. Lana's on there. Christian's on there. Uh, some of uh, r and kids, uh, Jared and a few others. I don't remember all the names, but we got Nick uh, from, Jared, uh, from BJJ United. We got Billy that'll be here today to do some training. We got... Oh my God, it just, the, the list goes on and on and on. So one ticket gets you to see 16, 17 matches. Uh, I tell the students here, you guys have been to a bunch of these to see the adults. Come out and check out the kids. The kids are the ones that are going to put on the show. Uh, so buy a ticket from one of the kids so that they can get uh, you know, a little little money encouragement to, to keep doing what they do. Every day they come in here and they grind, you know. So and that's it. All right, well, listen, we got jiu-jitsu and then move over, over to the mixed martial arts. Yes. I know. On, I'll be cage side calling the action. I'm really excited because I know you have 
Lex Ludlow, who's going to be his first fight under the yeah. Martinez family banner. And your brother, Jesus Chavo Martinez, makes yeah. his return. So how do you see those fights out? I mean, it's early in camp, but I'm sure they're in here already, you know, working on it. So, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks is just getting your mindset ready, getting the training ready. And we have some really tough guys here. Our Monday class is insane. We do like 45 minutes straight of drilling, and then the other 15 minutes we do uh, fighter training circuit. Uh, so it's pretty intense. They're both in good shape. Uh, I think Lex, uh, um, Lex is coming off of a uh, fight camp already, right into another fight camp. And my brother's been, he's, he's a vet. it would take him three weeks. So he's working with Chris Wing again. So if Chris Wing's had anything to do with it, he'll be in tremendous shape. Uh, so those guys will be ready to fight in May. Let's get it for Art of War, and they'll, they'll be ready to rock and roll. Let me ask you a question about Chavo, because your brother, man, when he gets mad, it seems like he has, like, that adrenaline power. Do you, when you work his corner, do you ever, like, try to piss him off, like, in between rounds to, to nah. get him angry? Or he does, he's already a Hulk. He's angry all the time. No, nah, it's like fighting. We, are, we already had, It's like the, uh, you, you remember Avengers 1, where... Uh, Banner came on and said, my secret is I'm always mad. That's the same thing with fighting, but you never show it. You, you, you're, you're not upset at him. You're not upset at the opponent, but you got that fire inside where, you know, you don't get paid by the minute. You just want to finish this fight. And he, he expresses it all over his face. Some fighters don't, some fighters do, but he's ready to rock and roll. You know, he's, he's going to get in there. And he's a seasoned vet. He's been in three round battles with some of the toughest guys on the East Coast, so we're not worried. He's been there before, he's done this before, he just needs to get himself in the best shape as possible. And uh, if I, I, I'm not a psychic by any means, but I don't think this fight's going the distance by any means. You know? So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, how about, listen, we have to give a shout out to another Philly fighter who I know that you've worked with, you worked his corner. Yeah. Bill Aljo's getting his chance on a contender. I know that you guys are not just friends, but you train you train together. Like I said, you've, I've seen, been there at fights where you work this corner. Tell me a little bit what you think about Bill and uh, Aljo. And that's got to be exciting for you as a teammate and a friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill knows we we're in here. We're, we we train. We put in hours of training of little glove training. We go over business stuff. We go over life stuff. He he, he gives me advice. I give him advice. He's a great person. He he deserves everything he he get he gets now. Like. And if he's on the contender series, there should be no reason why he's not in the UFC soon. Uh, yeah, I've, I've worked his corner a lot. I mean, we've been training, we've been training partners for like six years, seven years. So we kind of know each other's style. We know where, where we can push, where we can't push. But his striking has hit a whole nother level. Anybody knows, I'm, I'm a grappler. Uh, I like to grapple. I spend most of my time grappling, wrestling, uh, stand-ups, like the least thing I, I work on but his stand-up's gone to a whole nother level so I, I, I feel bad for whoever wants to stand in front of him because his jiu-jitsu is just as good his wrestling is just as good and the stand-up is starting to get to that elite level so that's scary yeah he's fun to watch man yeah, he it's going to be exciting to see him yeah, here. I can't is, wait sure. now listen every interview listen I've been here you know interviewed you plenty of times I always ask you when are you going to fight again are you interested in fighting okay, again yeah, because man. I know that you love to compete you're doing the jiu-jitsu so as a little tease, I mean, you kind of said, "Hey, I might have some news for you." So, what, what's the deal? Uh, Are you possibly well, taking a fight? Well, it's 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 not a tease. Uh, last time I was down at Ring of Combat, the corner Bill and Matt Turnbull uh, was sitting there with Dante uh, Rivera, and Dante Rivera came over. He was, "Oh, dude, if you do one more, I'll do one more." And I was like, Psh, "You have to tell me twice. Done deal." So I, I talked to Ring of Combat, uh, and I'll be on the, officially on their May thirty first card. Um, it's a stacked card. I know Sullivan's on there. A couple other guys. I don't want to spill the beans, but it's going to be a solid, solid card. I'm excited. I have my opponent. I'll start uh, promoting it more after my fight to win match because uh, I can't look past that match. I have a really great opponent, uh, and he's bringing out the best of me, man. I've been out three or four weeks fighting with the best guys in this area. Just gee, 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 gee. Once that's done, the gee comes off. It's time, it's time to fight. Uh, I took the fight because... I just I love that arena. My career started there. I haven't done well there. I, I, I had a draw tie at Quinta, and then I lost to Liam Carrigan knee bar, and it just just doesn't sit right every time I go there. And I'm sitting down there, and I'm like, fuck, I don't have a win here. I want to win, and it's time to get that win. Trust me. I, I've I've been physically training now 
to come back for about six months, just get myself in shape, getting through my MMA classes. So I'll, I'll be ready, man. Even at 38, I'll be ready to rock and roll. Whatever they put in front of me, I'll be ready. Trust me. Will Martinez, 13-3, and three, five and one in Bellator. Man, I'm always excited to come talk to him. He's not just a great fighter and a great guy. He's a pillar in the community over here in the Northeast. Will, it's always Thank a pleasure, you. my always man. It's a pleasure, man. Every time you come in, I'm glad I, I got the interview about my fight and grappling and just promote the school and the kids because it's all about the kids. The kids are the ones that are going to take this jujitsu to the next level. Not us. We're a bunch of old guys. But uh, they're going to do their thing. Uh, April 12th, fight to win. Please, Lana, Christian. Jared and all these young kids that are going to be on the card, let's come on and support them. Cheer strong. Remember, they get there early because kids are early, and uh, let's 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 show them all the support in the world. They need it. Get over here to Cotman Avenue Northeast. Check out Martinez BJJ. You won't be sorry. Thank you.